You know way to ease you guys into this, so I'm just gonna say it. That shit was intense. So, that was Whiplash. So Whiplash is a movie starring Miles Teller. He's a drummer, he gets into this music school, and there's this one music class run by J.K. Simmons, and you, he knows if he gets into there, this guy could change his life. Like, J.K. Simmons is one of those teachers where you know you're gonna go places under his, well, command or rule. And he gets into J.K. Simmons' class, and after that, he realizes J.K. Simmons is the most hardcore asshole Ever. J.K. said, this is, he reminded me of Arlie Ermey from Full Metal Jacket. A lot of his dialogue or monologues in the movie, I want to know how much of it was ad-libbed, how much not, because J.K. Simmons is a really quick guy. You saw him as Jonah Jameson, you thought Jonah Jameson was hard, that's nothing, that is zero. Miles Teller, yeah, Reed Richards can now go to Peter Parker and be like, you thought you had the hardcore J.K. Simmons? You didn't. I did. It's not even the verbal abuse that J.K. Simmons gives Miles Teller in the movie. There's also a psychological war play happening. He's coming at him at all angles, verbally, mentally. He's just tearing this kid down. I said this to my friend. I was like, J.K. Simmons in this movie is my single favorite performance of 2014. The hands down. Some of the things he says, like, just like Arlie Ermey from Full Metal Jacket, you laugh. You're like, oh God. I'm an asshole for laughing about that. Well, what could you say? The delivery is just spot on. And what it does in this movie is it builds a level of intensity, the likes of which I haven't seen often. Example, you know, I watch a lot of movies. I've seen a lot of them in my life. I've seen hostage negotiations, the like raids. I've seen that Zero Dark Thirty shit. I have seen people have to cut the certain wire on a bomb, otherwise the world's gonna explode. Maybe not the world, but definitely a building, definitely that person's world. And I had not bit my nails as hard in any of them as as I did when this kid is up on stage for the first time and J.K. Simmons is like, don't fuck this up. I'm like Crimson Tide style going, oh god, oh god, hope it works out, oh god. The tension in this movie winds up like a guitar string, funny enough, because it's about you know, this kid who plays drums. Usually to create this kind of tension in a movie, there is something big happening. This is the kind of tension, it's, it's so intense because it's so personal. There are a lot of subtle undertones in this movie. It's like one of them is, like, what's the point of doing this great thing and being this great thing if you're not having fun with it, if you just hate life. If you hate your hobby, what's the point of doing your hobby? What's the point of being great at it? Regardless, this kid, Miles Teller, is chugging through this class and J.K. Simmons is giving him hell the entire time. And you get where Miles Teller is coming from. We have all wanted something bad enough, so bad in our lives, that we will put ourselves through hell and wear ourselves down to the bone, literally, to get it. And if you haven't, don't worry. You will. Then you'll know what I'm talking about. The only flaws in this movie are zero. The answer is none flaws. Folks, it's as simple as this. The movie itself is simple. It's about a kid who's a drummer who wants to be the best drummer possible and a teacher who's a dick who wants to push his students to be the best musicians possible and these worlds are colliding and somehow you're gonna project yourself into this movie. You're gonna be like, I had a boss like that or I had a teacher like that. I knew someone like that. I know someone like that. It's gonna sink its hooks into you and it's not gonna let go. This was the movie. The more I think about this movie, the better it gets. Whiplash is not a fast paced movie. There's no battle of five armies, but there's an ambition main character played by a really good actor. I mean, Miles Teller, holy shit. I can't say it, whether or not this Fantastic Four movie that's gonna come out is going to be good, I don't know. But I can't say they don't have a good actor playing Reed Richards. You have a great antagonist, J.K. Simmons kills it. It's just one of those things where you look at it and you're like, Cave Johnson, the things you're saying. Honest to God, Whiplash absolutely is awesome-tacular. <laughs> I'll say this is one of those movies, if you have anxiety problems and don't like it when someone is giving someone else a lot of grief, you're like empathetic to that, and you, it might just raise something in you where you just want to punch J.K. Simmons in the face, it'll probably be worth watching anyway, because that's probably what the movie's going for. <laughs> just be warned, it's in there. That might be a negative for you. Or so Whiplash, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.